Hey guys, Drew Talbert here. I'm very excited. I'm doing a paid collaboration with Adobe and I get to show you how I take my TikTok videos to the next level. So if you're like me, you love creating for TikTok, but you love that full creative control you get from editing outside the app, right? Well, I found that Adobe Premiere Pro is the best option for that. I mean, the sky's the limit with Premiere Pro. It's a powerful professional editing tool, but it also works really well with my relatively low tech setup. For me, it's all about creating content quickly because I upload four to five times a week to TikTok. And so I just shoot with my phone. I use a mini directional mic attached to the tripod mount. I use simple box lights and I employ a green screen. That's about it for gear. First, I get into character, a lot of wigs. For this video, I will show you from start to finish how I edited my inspirational quotes trend video. My goal was to take one of my favorite TikTok trends from 2021, the inspirational quotes trend, and take it to the next level. My wife and co-creator Andrea had the idea to take our fictional restaurant, Bistro Huddy's uh, fake restaurant reviews and turn them into inspirational quotes, and I loved it. In the trend, those quotes go over inspirational images, right? Like mountains, flower fields, beaches. So to take it to the next level, I wanted to have my Bistro Huddy characters moving and then freezing onto the foreground of those images. So first, let's grab some stock images for the poster backgrounds from Adobe Stock. Next, we'll activate some of our favorite fonts from Adobe Fonts, and these will now show up and be ready to use within Premiere Pro. So now we've brought all of the footage, images, and fonts into Premiere, and now I choose my best takes of the characters and match them with a good stock image background. Let's work on Pickles, the line cook. He's gonna be gleefully leaping into the air in spite of this negative restaurant review. First, let's key out the background using the ultra key effect located in the effects tab. Play around with the settings to make it as clean as possible. I'll also mask out part of the image. One of the best things you can do to get a good key is to eliminate shadows while filming. I'm still working on that. <laughs> I'll play around with the scale and position, leave room for the quote. I'll let it move for a second until I find a good spot to freeze and now I'll export that last frame and use that for the poster. To enhance the feel of this effect, I'll play around with keyframes to control the speed of the clip. You can do this in effect control or right here on the timeline. I'm gonna add the slow motion ramp in by teasing out these controls on the keyframe. Next, let's type in the restaurant review and pick a font. I like this one. You can play around with shadow, stroke, and background to make sure the words are easy to read. Looks good to me. Pickles likes it too. I just know. I'm gonna color grade Pickles a little to make sure he feels a part of this stock background. Premiere Pro has an incredible color grading palette built right in. I use the Lumetri color controls. One last thing for this poster, I wanna add a little shadow under Pickles for realism. So I'll duplicate his clip, flip it vertically, apply a drop shadow, check shadow only, and then add a corner pin effect to play around with the uh, location. I'm sure there are many ways to do this, but this works for me. Finally, let's nest all of the elements of the poster, label it, and I'll add some keyframes to create a slow zoom in. I love it. Looks good. Play it back. Pickles, what do you think? I love it. Great. And now repeat this for all the different inspirational quote posters. Sync the timing of them to the music, add a little intro, and we're done. I really enjoyed sharing my process with you. I hope you were inspired to get Adobe Premiere Pro and start taking your TikToks to the next level. And now click the link in my description and learn about all the cool things you can do in Premiere Pro.